Hey guys, Random Cat here, and we're going to be continuing on with Onikomi that we haven't played for quite some time now. So, let's just get straight into it. So the shoot will be at the beginning of the week, and I'll deliver the pictures on Thursday. I'll receive the design on Friday and return it by Monday morning. Yes, I understand. I look forward to working with you. Yes, this is Ara. Oh, hello. Thanks for all your support. No, of course not. It was due to the model's talent, right? Yes, I think that will fit with the work we have next week, yes. Yes, I'll tell him. I hope we'll be working together again soon. Now, this is my character talking. Goodbye. And as you can see, there's a Japanese keyboard up there. Phone is practically ringing off the hook. So busy, man. How popular. Mentor is. Mm hmm. Oh. Go back into my office chair and let out a little groan. I glance over at Sonico's pictures. Her smile makes my heart ache. The job we just did was pretty well received, so a lot of people saw her picture. Unfortunately, a good photo shoot doesn't necessarily lead to more work immediately. Sonico and I are still rookies. Could I do some advertisement? Uh, advertising of my own? Hmm. Darn, I'm starting to get depressed. I heat up my lunch in the microwave and look for a talk show on my t phone's TV. If I don't check these kinds of shows, I can't keep up with my mentor's conversation topics at all. Oh, telephone show King is on. Hi. Hi. I've been worried about my hairline lately. Oh, really? I'm also worried about my body fat percentage. Oh, really? We're off to a good start today. Oh, really? I heard the world's ending tomorrow. Oh, really? The audience is cold as usual, but Chamo, the host, remains unfluffable. Let me introduce our guest today. We have the famous photographer, Mr. Romero Iguchi. Welcome to the show. Whoa, that's pretty noisy. I almost dropped my chopsticks. A jaunty tune plays as a slender man, the sort of long hairstyle I haven't seen much lately, walks onto the stage. He looks pretty, he looks like a bit of a wanker, to be honest. Hello, nice to meet you, Chamo. Yes, great to have you. Did you get a haircut? Ha ha ha, no, it's always looked like this. Heh. Trends up and brushes back his hair. A shrill cheer erupts from the audience. Amore. That's the re reaction I'm looking for. If you'd like me to take your picture, just call. But only if you're ready to be changed by the experience. He winks, showing off the sparkling white teeth. All I can say about his outlandish mannerisms is that they're equally obnoxious and flamboyant. You sure are something. Hey, your business is booming. No, not at all. He gives an exaggerated shrug. The audience bursts into laughter. It's rare for such a young photographer but to be so famous. Ah ha 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 ha, I suppose so. Well, this may sound odd, but I can only apologize so much for having talent, you know. I make my subjects shine. But I end up shining even more. That's just the kind of guy I am. Well said. I feel my blood beginning to boil. What's with that guy? Isn't being a photographer about drawing out the true nature of your model? Any fame you earn should be a result of that. Is there another young photographer who you'd consider a rival? I bet there are some out there, but I doubt any of them are as good as me. <laughs> okay, he's a bit of a dick. Uh, he's pissing me off. But do I really have what it takes to oppose him? I gulp down the rest of my food in irritation, then return to my work with the TV on in the background. Grr, grr, grr. Ah, uh, I'm as mad as that angry German kid. I might start smashing my keyboard any sec. I think this is really old, this game. Because I have the original box up there somewhere, the non-English one. And it was like 2008 or nine. I'll avoid sensitive work for now. Maybe I should do some web search. Open my bookmarks and go to the reviewer site I frequent. I'll check if anything's been written about my mentor. Then look at some of the popular reviewer models. Oh, I see a familiar face. They're talking about Sonico. There's not much here yet, but still, this is awesome. We've just got to keep taking a steady steps forwards. There's no need to rush. It'd be nice if we had a little more work, though. 
Hello? Idiot. Two days after the phone call, I'm standing at my usual train station, wearing a suit for the first time in a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. That cat face, though. My heart skips a beat. Oh no, I just got here. What a lie. When I turn, I see Sonico and Kitamura. Two. Sorry, sorry, the train was quite packed. Um, wouldn't it arrive at the same time anyway? Oh, you saw through that, huh? Ha 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 ha. Sorry, it was just a joke. Truth is, we had a lot of things to prepare and we walked here from the office. Oh, so that's why you're with Sonica. An important day, but he doesn't seem worried at all. I guess he is a veteran manager despite that creepy mask. Not to mention my mentor seems to respect him. That means he's got real skills. But seriously, what's with the mask? Um, um, is something wrong? Ah, no, 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 I'm just fine. Just a little nervous. Me too. Me too. My heart's pounding, but we've got to do the best we can. Also, that bounce, though. Holy shit. Yeah, let's get pumped. That's the spirit. Shall we go, then? Kitamura takes the lead and walks up. Sonico and I follow him into the station. Today, we're having our first meeting with a major agency. It might lead to a big job. Oof, I can't help it. But I'm anxious. The three of us take the train together, reaching our destination in about half an hour. The agency is just a short walk from there. Kitamura takes the lead again. He seems a little more tense than usual. What should I do? Should I talk to her? But I don't want to bother her if she's in deep thought. Hmm. She'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Um. So, uh. Hmm, what's up? Uh, nothing in particular, just, uh, oh right, I saw a thread about you the other day. On the internet? Oh wow, that cat face though. People pay attention if you really work at it, huh? So I like how the 3D is a bit clipped here, like look, look at this shit. Kind of embarrassing, <laughs> Oh, looks like we're almost there. Oh, she liked me talking to her apparently. I think girls like that sort of thing. Perfect sense. Where are we going? Digi Turbo. Whoa! Oh, it is sure big. I'll check in at the reception desk. Wait for me here. Kitamura disappears into the building. Hmm. Only like this, it really feels real. Not that it wasn't real before. Monaco's looking up at the building as if overwhelmed by its size. I can tell from her expression that her nervousness isn't completely gone yet. Uh, what do you look at on... I didn't think it would be that big either. I didn't think these would be that big either. Let's look at your face. Something wrong? You gotta rely. Look, you're all ten. Hey, you're nervous again, aren't you? I oh, know I'm good, um, am I? I just can't help getting all things. Okay, this is my chance to touch them. I slowly reach out. Um. Ah! Uh, oh, nothing. Why? Oh, I feel like I've done something I shouldn't have. Why does she wear those headphones all the time? What do you think you're doing? Suddenly Kitamura is right by my side. Nothing, Sonico just looked kind of nervous, so I... Don't do anything strange now. What? I guess he can see right through me. Right. Can't help but nod, silenced by some intense pressure. I'm even more nervous than Sonico right now, that's for sure. Huh? Sonico, meanwhile, just looks confused. Mr. Kuramara. Kitamara. Kitamura, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Kitamura goes back inside the building. I guess he was in the middle of something when he ran over here. Phew, I think I lost a few years of my life there. Don't screw around too much, okay? You ain't kidding. Mr. Cameron, who is that? Ah, ah, it's that Mr. Voice again. Ghost of the studio, she's here too. What's going on? 
Am I possessed? Crap, I'm so nervous that I'm starting to hallucinate. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm um, shit right here. Um, um. Ah? What? The ghost is here? Ah! So loud. Ah? You don't look dead. How rude. I'm alive. I'm human and I'm so cute to boot. That's not very humble. And how are we supposed to tell with those sunglasses on? You're a cameraman, aren't you? You should be able to tell just from my aura. Hmm, now that you mention it, maybe I can tell. First time I'm seeing her, but I do think she would cla be classified as cute. However, mm-hmm, uh-huh. Hmm. Well, what do you think, mister? Mm, nope, not at all. She twists herself into a sexy pose, but her attempt at a lusty moan fails miserably. She's not cute at all. Grr, what's that supposed to mean? Um, um, what should I do? Uh-oh, I'm sorry for leaving you there like that. Um, it's also my first time meeting her, in a manner of speaking. I guess I should thank you for all your help. I give a little bow. No question marks? I'm always helping you out. The self proclaimed cute girl returns my bow with a little dip of her head. Uh, oh, uh, thanks for always helping out. Sonoko bows too. Wait a second, you don't know her, right, Sonoko? It's a pleasure to meet you, Sonoko. I'm well, you can call me Cutie Q. Oh, God. Q? Kind of fixated on that cute thing, huh? What's with that ridiculous name? Ridiculous? Fine, fine. Anyway, Q. Oh, that's kind of cute. Don't call me Q. At least make it Miss Q. Or whatever, anyway. Who are you exactly? Why are you here? Just a fluke. Speaking of which, fluke kind of sounds like a dirty word, don't you think? Doesn't it, I mean? Um... Doesn't really. You know what I mean, Sonico? <laughs> a fluke, huh? Sonico's really giving it some thought. She's such a good girl, I might just cry. Oh, you're so cute. I can't fluking head. Oh, How old are you, 12? Anyway, answer my question. Who are... What's all this fuss about? Suddenly Kitamura is standing behind me. Oh, Mr. Kitamura. Weird girl, huh? Went back around after glancing at Kitamura for a second. But all I see is a bewildered Sonico. Um, she ran off at the, a very, really incredible speed. What? Is she a ghost after all? Maybe I should seriously consider hiring an exorcist. Or whatever, if everyone's fine. Let's get going, yes? I'd like you two to get serious, alright? Bit of my words get our heads back in the game. We head up into the building, pass through a quiet hallway, and come to stand in front of a sturdy door. Me, I'm Super Sonico's manager, Kitamura. Oh, welcome. Please. Large door opens to an extravagant meeting room. Whoa, there are a lot of people in here. Greeted by four people, they dress smartly in nice clean suits. Technically an office worker, so it shouldn't be a big deal to me, but I don't actually spend a lot of time around guys in suits. I manage to get myself under control before I feel under uh, underwhelmed. <laughs> Overwhelmed. I greet everyone, then sit in the chair I'm offered. Some business-like greetings are exchanged, and we get to the main topic. Discussion. What? 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 The company has been wanting to speak with Super Sonico about this. The reason Sonico was selected by this company is because her image as a reviewer model hasn't been solidified yet. Which isn't to say that she lacks individuality, as they could sense her person, personal charm from her promotional photos. Something like uh, that made me happy to hear. So, as we discussed the other day, we were hoping to hire you and your photographer for this job. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, we would like to ask you something, Mr. Cameraman, huh? Yes? I get a little anxious when he suddenly turns to me. I've got to calm down. But what is it, I wonder? If you had the discretion to plan this project, what sort of campaign do you think would best suit Sonico? Oh, right. Well, if they just want my opinion, I shouldn't take this super seriously, right? Let's see, I, um... He has the makings of a comedy goddess. 
I want to draw out a sex appeal. I think we should play up her innocence. I see, thank you very much. If we decide to hire you, we'll take that into account when we plan the shoot. Of course, they wouldn't leave a decision that important to some unknown cameraman. Well, thank you for meeting with us today. We'll be contacting you again soon. Hmm. Our meeting for that day ends fairly abruptly. I wonder... And a few days later, I go to Sonico's agency again. Okay, here's my report. We officially have a job. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Glad to hear it. I relax a little. Hey now, don't lose focus. This is where we kick things up a notch. Right. He's right, I can't lose focus now. I've got to get this right. I'd give you a simple outline of our next job. Hmm, hmm. That's about it. Do you get any the idea? Yep, got it. You didn't... Anika, you get it? Hi. Yes! I'll do my best. Kambari masu, as said. That's the spirit, you two. Sonico and I are totally ready for this, but... I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Sonico might be a too, be a too ready. I'm all fired up. I'll do my best. Getting really intense for some reason. Aro. The mirror whispers to me, glancing at Sonico. Yes. Sonico's pretty fragile when she's like this, so I'm leaving her to you. It'll be easier for her to talk to you than to me. Huh? Is, is mental support part of the job description too? Isn't that her manager's job? Mr. Cameraman? Yes? Let's get fired up! Yeah! Yeah. We're gonna do it! Yeah! Yeah! My enthusiasm isn't as much as yours, obviously. I end up doing more cries with Sonico for a bit. By the time I realize how loud we're being, Panda Gawa is already scolding us. Is that Panda Guy? If I've forgotten. Ah, we got in trouble. After being chased out of the office, Sonico and I head home. Maybe Kudamura trusts me now. He asked me to walk Sonico home again. I'm sorry, Mr. Cameron. Um, I don't know what to say. Nah, it's cool. I'm really sorry. Everyone else has her previous enthusiasm going. I guess she took Panda Gawa's yelling at her pretty hard. Well, it's good that you've got so much energy, right? Uh, but I'm like this all the time. I know I need to work hard, and I do try. But I guess I messed up again. Think so? I thought about this back when I met her too, but Sonico's really got an interesting temper to her. It's not that she's mysterious per se. I don't think it's all that bad though. Oh really? But how do I say this, huh? Sonico's shoulders slump even further. I'm doing my very best, but people don't seem to get that. I'm always causing trouble. No way, I think they totally get that you're doing your best. Really? Yeah, everyone understands. And besides, no one thinks it's trouble, at least I sure don't. So keep on keeping on, okay? I guess you're right. Yeah, I feel a little better now. Good. I'd worried about you if you didn't. <laughs> thank you. It feels a little strange to talk to you, Mr. Cameraman. Strange? I guess it calms me down. Hmm, it's hard to put into words. I just feel comfortable like I can talk to you about anything. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You're really nice, Mr. Cameraman. Nah, nothing special about me. Ah, that's weird. I was supposed to be the one encouraging her. But what Sonico just said means she trusts me, right? Makes me happy to hear that. Well, thank you for walking me home, Mr. Cameraman. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. She parts with me waving her arms energetically. 
I was worried about her while we were walking, but it looks like she's in a good mood again. And it makes me really happy that Sonico seems to trust me now. We managed to build that kind of relationship, I bet I can take some great pictures. Yeah, I'm gonna give it all I've got. Given the next photo shoot is what we have to do. Finally, the day of the shoot comes. Let's go over the request one more time. Jolly rocks out. Okay. Normal jacket. Long sleeve t-shirt. Long sleeve t-shirt. Good. Hot pants. Shorts. And little socks. Over knee socks. Boots. I. Ribbon. Oh shit. Big chance to major game developer Zega wants Sonico to be their new PR girl. Use her unique appeal to promote the arcade as a place of fun and relaxation, but don't get too weird. So they want her to be chilled out, basically. Okay, so we don't want her to be nude. We really want to, so it's evening at the beach, alright. Let's go with this. I don't think you should have your bag on, that doesn't seem to make sense. What? Oh, maybe shorts are better. Doesn't really make sense, but... Let me just go with that. It looks really weird and stuff, but like... Um... We go with that. Yeah, I got that. All right. Let's see. This is probably not the best choice in clothes and stuff, but let's just go with it. No mistakes, no mistakes. Um, okay. You can do it! You can do it! Is she taller than me though? I really don't understand. That was a weird photo, to be honest. What? What? Just what, mate? Oh, 
Ah, damn it. Oh my god, I missed the shoe up. <laughs> Uh, I think she means the sand. Okay. Were they awesome? I didn't do as good as I could. I did get a few pet poor and bad. I got an S rank though. I wonder what these coins are for. I wonder what's under her headphones. It'd be very interesting to know what's under those headphones. Oh, yo, it's oh, it's you. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't you tee hee me? I just saw our little cameraman and Sonic go okay. What? Ah, I should have known you would. Sheesh! Don't do anything too weird to them. I know, Grams. But those two are just so interesting. I watched them. I watched them work. That last shoot, and they're looking pretty good. You're spying on them now? Well, whatever. I feel like a broken record, but don't do anything weird. Nothing weird, just fun. Fun for you is weird, you doof. Well, not so loud. Jeez, you never change. Oh well, I'll let you off the hook today. See ya, bye bye. God, that girl is so annoying. I just don't get that, brat. Okay then. Oh, we got some socks. Saving the game. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it as that since we got to episode 3. So that's cool. Let's leave it as that now and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.